most people hardly give the sun a second thought. We just take for granted that it will rise each morning and warm the day. But you can use this banner to give folks a whole new way of thinking about the sun. This is also a great way to prepare a group for solar viewing, whether you've got a scope with a white light filter, a projected image, or a hydrogen alpha scope. It introduces the idea that we'll see different features in different types of instruments. We might introduce the topic like this. Did you know that the sun is always changing? It has features that come and go, so every time we look at it, we might see different things. Take a look at these images of the sun. All three were taken on the same day using different kinds of detectors. Now, who can tell me what they see on these images of the sun? Some bright spots and some dark spots. Do you notice any similarities? The bright spots are where the dark spots are on the left. Good eyes. The features you see are related to each other, and we're going to find out how. Uh, to start with, they are caused by the dynamic magnetic fields of the sun. If the sun did not have magnetic fields, it would always have a plain, boring face. Let's take a closer look. Sunspots mark the place where magnetic field lines pop through the photosphere, the visible surface of the sun. Strong magnetic activity around the sunspots causes the material in the chromosphere, just above the visible surface, to heat up, marked by these bright colored plage. A material from the corona, the atmosphere of the sun, spirals around the magnetic field lines that emerge from the sun, forming these coronal loops. That corona, or solar atmosphere, actually extends far out into space, as you can see from the, this image on the bottom. It even extends all the way to Earth and beyond. This code links to a video of these images over three days, so you can see how the sun changes over time. Sometimes the magnetic field lines pop through the surface to make a sunspot, like what you saw in the telescope. Let's use your arm to show how this works. I'm like, there you go, hold your arm right out there. Now, imagine that this is the surface of the sun. Ooh. <laughs> now, Here's the magnetic loop popping through. Sunspots are the footprints where the magnetic loop emerges from the surface. Here and here. Great. Uh, on our sun model, we can use a compass to follow the magnetic field lines around the sunspots. Let's take some of these loops and filaments and decorate the sunspots and the sun with the same features we see in the images in the middle and on the right. Go there. To put the size of the sun in perspective, this little blue dot shows how big the Earth is compared to the sun about the size of some of these sunspots we see in this first image. Enjoy your views of the sun through the telescope. Now that you know where they come from, do you think we'll see any sunspots today?